Okay, as you can see over here, I have a robot one. And uh, I'm going to ask you for your help, if you don't mind. Can you please hold these two fingers? Uh, as you can see right here. And with the other hand, hold this other two. Now, the reason is because the rubber one is going to jump from these two fingers to these other ones. Okay? Just at the count of three. One, two, and three. Thank you. Now, the rubber one jumps right here. Okay, so the way you can transfer this rubber one from these two fingers to these other ones, this is the setup. Obviously, at the beginning, I give this glimpse, and uh, the way to do the setup very quickly, if they don't really see you carefully, uh, try to make you know eye contact so they don't see what you're doing. If they do, that's fine. Anyway, the setup is this. Notice I have the thumb right in the front of the hand fingers over here it goes right between the index and the thumb and without twisting I go back and thumb index and middle finger go right there and that's it that's all that's it up now the index instead of being in, right here in the front it goes in the back so uh, by the time it go uh, from these two fingers to these other ones I'm gonna twist it because if you, you don't twist it uh, it's gonna be right here the cross in the middle so that's why you wanna spin the hand in the process so let me go ahead notice the thumb is in the front lifting so the fingers can go right here in front and it goes between the index and the thumb go in clip it and go out thumb index and middle finger go inside okay and that's all that's it up be careful with this that's why I have all these uh, other rubber bands to camouflage this other one okay now all you have to do is relax in the thumb so the transportation happen from these two fingers to these other two. Uh, one tip is make sure if you want pull back a little so when you relax the thumb it doesn't go all the way out. Sometimes it may go all the way out. So that's why you rather want to have this hand, the one is holding the rubber band, a little bit pulled in into these fingers so it doesn't uh, go out. That's it. The index go right here. Uh, make sure it is not in the front. Make sure this the index finger is right in the back. So you can uh, twist it. By the time you relax the thumb right here, you spin it okay so the rubber band is not twist right here in the middle when the transportation happened so when you relax the thumb you also spin at the moment you relax right here the thumb one two and three you see and like i said um, try to pull back a little so it ends more uh, close the fingers instead of outside, like it just happened. Make sure uh, it doesn't go all the way down here. Make sure it remains in the wrist. Now, if you don't have a lot of rubber bands, you may want to use long sleeve to cover over here the view. You can actually show the back of these two fingers a little and show the piece of the rubber band okay just a little glimpse you know as the spectator to hold these two fingers and the other one if there is two spectators hold these other two if there is only one spectator use one hand for each uh, set of fingers and just relax the thumb okay and bring back a little and make sure you have the finger um, from the back so you can twist it after the the switch happened like that there is a variation concerning the same uh, effect now instead of putting the rubber band uh, in these two fingers 
uh, just put it in the index and ask the spectator to pick one. So the spectator is gonna uh, catch one and catch another one. For example, they want this one. You have to bend these two fingers and you do exactly the same. One, two, and three. And it's gonna jump to the other finger. Now, if the spectator they want the, um, the third finger, you have to bend these two and using this first and third finger, the specter is supposed to grab these two fingers. So you have to bend these two so the rubber band doesn't get stuck in the process. And it goes straight right to the next finger. One, two, and three. Or the fourth finger instead. The same, one, two, and three. And because you bend these two fingers, so any other finger um, is gonna miss the rubber band jumping just straight uh, to any other finger that the spectator chooses. Okay, it can be any combination of finger. So uh, because the spectator is holding the fingers, um, at least the rubber band is not gonna be all the way outside. It's not gonna and fly out like that okay which is the nice thing about um, holding the other finger okay one two and three and that's it try to minimize the move of the thumb uh, enough so you can uh, remain in the same position after doing the effect okay and that's it